My life on Koh-Lanta was quite peaceful. Surrounded by untouched beauty, coconut palm fringed beaches, breathtaking nature, until I met the guys from the motorcycle club. Powerful machines, leather jackets, tattoos, the speed that nearly throws me off the bike, and these sounds. I wanted to know more about their lifestyle and community in Thailand. Motorcycle clubs in Thailand have uh, been going for many, many years. A lot of international clubs, a lot of locally formed clubs, a lot of Thai clubs. And for some strange reason, everybody in Thailand really gets on well with each other. The structure of the club, there are some social clubs that you can apply and you, you can become a member. Organization, Harley Owners Group. Some of the smaller local clubs with a bunch of guys that ride together and there may be eight or ten people and it's just localized in a certain area. The reason why they always talk about the biking brotherhood. It's not easy to get into a club. It's not something you can put your hand up and say, I really want to join. And then after two years, of showing that, you're, that you have value to the club, that you're prepared to go the extra mile. You get that phone call at two o'clock in the morning and somebody's stuck on the side of the road. You know that every single person in the club that you pick up the phone to, they'll do whatever they need to do to come and help you. You look at countries like uh, Europe, not countries, regions like Europe or the Americas or even Australia, there's a long history of what they call criminal aspect of motorcycle clubs okay. and that's kind of a stamp that's been put on people and they look at the one percent and they say all the one percenters are criminals and bad guys and they all belong in jail and what have you in any association whether it's politics whether it's motorcycle clubs whether it's the church there are people that belong in jail and there are people that are just normal people for the most part bikers are just normal people our club in particular doesn't have uh, a woman's section in the club. I mean, for the most part, girlfriends and wives, when we have social runs and social days, the girls come along and we go and have a, a really nice time out. Um, there are one or two clubs in Thailand that have the female version, so they have the sisters of the club. For the sake of being polite, when you get a bunch of guys that have had a lot to drink and loud music, the language tends to become a little lateral. In our efforts to be gentlemen, it's probably not the best place for women to be around. When we're out on the boys' biking weekend, when you get to the bike events, there are always women there, always. And the guys are always respectful, there's never an issue with that. But if the boys are just riding with the boys, guys are kind of proud when they burp and they fart amongst themselves but that's not always that's not always smiled upon by the fairer sex so we you know we kind of have to restrain ourselves a little and that just changes things a bit, you know? I asked myself is riding a big motorbike really that fun is it worth trying before that I visited the most famous mechanic who specializes in modding big motorbikes. Color of your eyes, we smile when you laugh. Your younger brother's favorite food, the way you watch the evening news. And Everything. Make a custom big bikes? Yeah. But only big bikes? Yes, only big bikes. Yes, are you a member of a motorbike club? Any motorbike club? Any. No? Any. Party? 
party, by party. And events, bike, uh, bike weeks or something. Yeah. Yeah. And now I have now. a whole week and not. Yeah. And when I have bike week, um, the friend from uh, Malaysia coming. Okay, so people from Malaysia, they yeah. come to Krabi to celebrate bike weeks. Yes. That's cool. Um, Let's go inside. Huh? And uh, uh, what is that? And it's Job Krabby. I see your logo here. <laughs> <laughs> what? And That's insane. So is it for a customer? Yeah. Or for you? For me, my bike. Is it your bike? Yeah. All right. Mm. And now I take the engine from this bike to make this bike. I see you like skulls. See? This one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a light. Wow! It's a light here. Now I re I re repair this one. Ah, okay. Is it Honda 400? Yes. What's the name of the model? Uh, VFR. VFR. Uh -huh. VFR. Some part we order, we order from Japan and from USA mm -hmm. or from European. One day I will have a big bike, I will come to your place and get a tuning, get a custom bike. Okay. If I will have a big bike, okay? Next time. Okay. Tuning software? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I have 155 cc. What <laughs> more? Too small. Forza, maybe Forza, automatic. Finally, it's my time to try it out. Ooh, okay, I'm excited because it's gonna be my first time on a big bike. It's a Honda Rebel uh, 500 Custom with a new remap. Um, but I've, I have no idea how to use the clutch and um, gears, you know, because on a daily basis I drive motorbike automatic. So, yeah, okay, let's try. First, just a key, right? <laughs> Injection button. Okay. And now just a gas, I mean a start button, be careful. A year ago, I was afraid to ride a small motorbike and now I'm riding it everywhere on the streets of Thailand. However, a large motorcycle is a completely different experience. Big, fast, heavy and suddenly dopamine rush. For the first time, of course, I didn't go for a long ride, but tried to master the handling and coordination. I guess it wasn't that bad. Will I be able to go back to my little scooter now? Or maybe I'm in love with this new experience after all? 
Shoot him, pull, crack a jack, take off now and don't look 